while the sky may be the limit, enthusiasts of this hobby feel that the sky is too limited. No go for close to airports, um, public parks. From what I experienced, I saw a lot of signs they post all over public places. Uh. Why, why public parks? Uh, it's, it's restricted. Well, like what I earlier expressed, if you're new to this spot, anything that flies remotely, if it falls onto somebody, it's it's a hazard. It's a drop drop object on your head. You know, so we don't want that to happen on anybody. Radio controlled or RC multi rotor flying is the flying of aircraft which have more than two rotor blades. And while the crafts can go as high into the sky as the eye can see, enthusiasts here feel that there aren't enough places in Singapore for them to fly. In Singapore, challenges for me probably is uh, flying site, flying space, uh, available uh, of, uh, place for us to really enjoy these games uh, together, right? place for us to hang out together. Uh, that probably that is a main challenge right now. Yeah. Right. Mm. But any open field like this, I mean, it's okay. Uh, yes, it's okay. But again, uh, it, when they are not in the proper control, uh, for us, I think we, we worry about few, if we have 10, 20 people flying here, they can be quite messy if we don't control the uh, the safety. Yeah. Right. So it might crash into each other. Yeah, exactly. Or even like uh, into people. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Because if you have proper side, then we can talk about proper insurance and so on, so for they are well covered. Yeah. The lack of space has not deterred Heidi and Daniel from pursuing their hobby for more than two years. Uh, it is the technology that draws me, right? Uh, I use a fly plane. Uh, we change the number of planes. We have uh, conventional uh, aircraft. Then we start looking at jet base and so on and so forth. Uh, we call EDF, these uh, electronics, uh, uh, electric fan, basically a jet. And come to this, uh, uh, two years ago, I come to know about this um, multi-rotor. And I find it is uh, interesting because a lot of uh, uh, technology into it. It is not so down, just a plane. doesn't mean plane no fun. It's still very fun uh, flying that. But that gives me a uh, sense of satisfaction that you start building up and make a, a, a technology work. Uh, I initially started out as an amateur photographer. I do this for fun, like taking photographs for family events, friends outings. And then I'm also into uh, RC stuff, be it uh, cars to planes to helicopters. So until I realized there's a platform that can actually facilitate my interest, uh, probably extending how can I shoot just ground zero, no, I can actually go in altitude to shoot aerial shots. That's why it interests me, you see. Heidi, who has been practicing aerial photography abroad for two years, hopes that the government will give enthusiasts like himself more places to enjoy their hobby. I don't disregard why we are not given a lot of place to fly, but I just hope that there are current measures to implement place that we, people can fly properly under control uh, guidance. I think they should consider like, they, they actually had, they, they set up the parks, uh, the national parks have got a skate park, which is good and kids got place to actually use the skateboards and ramp up the ramp and then things like so. I think they should think of a place for people who's into remote hobbies, you know, public you don't have to pay, they don't have to uh, subscription and all this, so I look forward to that though. Land scarcity in Singapore will continue to pose challenges for die-hard RC enthusiasts. But it's heartening to note that these hobbyists somehow managed to find a pocket of space, some nook or some cranny to pursue what they love most.